more White Rose news. Show the butt of the White Rose, or show the Nopes device and Rose. They just released their cast album, and it's so good. It's available for streaming on Spotify, for pre-add on Apple Music, on YouTube Music, on Amazon Music, on Tidal, and on Deezer. If you like the White Rose, of course, it's incredible, but it's also just a really good musical. I don't know, maybe it's me. I really like rock musicals. I love it. I think it's great. I will now play some songs. You can also uh, add the music as TikTok songs now, which is great because I did bootleg one off. <laughs> In one of my videos, I was talking about one of the songs and I just took it off of YouTube. So now I don't have to do that. This is from Das Leben ist Andersfo. Or in English, Life is Elsewhere. <laughs> Just listen to them sing Schnee. Now I'll talk about the plot so this isn't told the traditional way that you'll see the White Rose story told where Sophie arrives in Munich. She um, discovers that Hans is running a resistance. She joins, they do resistance activities, and then the trial and the executions. This musical was something really special because it's told by, from the perspective of Hans's girlfriend at the time, Trautel of Friends, who was a very real person. And it takes place on a very real ski trip that they had to celebrate the new year in 1941. And then other parts of the stories are added in in flashbacks and like a nightmare scene. But what makes that really significant is that this isn't talking about the like terrible things that the members of the White Rose Resistance went through with their trial and their executions. Um, and it's not talking about, I don't know, the stuff we've already heard. This is about the characters. This is about Hans and Sophie and Inya and Alexander and who they are as people and what's driving them to start the resistance. It's called the butt of the white rose for a reason. It's the very, it's the very beginning. And that's something that is so rarely talked about. I mean, oftentimes they just won't even talk about why the white rose was founded and it will just start exactly when Sophie arrives in Munich. All right, we'll take a break of me yapping and listen to another song. this one. In this song, Sophie Scholl sings opera just to be overly dramatic, which she would absolutely do. <laughs> I don't know why they always write her to be so serious. And then here is the amazing Judith Casparelli singing um, her really belty ballad, one of many. And if you know me, the part of the White Rose that I like really research that I really get into is Hans and Alex's relationship. They sing duets, not one, but I'll say two, I guess. Two full duets. It's just so fun. I'll stop now, I'll stop now. I'll tell you what's really, actually, really, really... This is like the fifth thing that I've said is really special about this musical, but this one is really special. A lot of these songs were written by Han Schull. How did Han Schull write songs? Well, my friends, Han Schull was a poet. 
he wrote a ton of poetry. Nobody talks about that he wrote poetry because, I don't know. Like, I'm so serious. His poems have never been translated to English. They're, they're like, in the back of his biography. But in this musical, they talk about his poetry a lot, obviously, and they found the poems and they put them to music. And usually they're slower songs. And I haven't played you many slower songs, so I'll do that now. Ich liebe es am Abend, dir ein Lied zu singen, das schwerer noch als pure Silber wiegt. Doch diese Nacht hat... This one's called Gluck. my favorite part. <laughs> Schiller? Fast. Scholl. Scholl. <laughs> Stop. This is like a 12 page poem that he read. They had to cut it down for this two minute song. Du starke tief in Gott Verschmeiß eine Rose der Höhe Lass uns dich I have this song in my head so much. Am Sonntag kommt zum Kaffee, klatscht der Führer und nimmt auch noch am Abendessen teil. Anyway. Um, obviously all those songs were in German, the musicals in German, the titles in German, so you'll probably figure that out pretty fast. If you buy their CD, it comes with all of the lyrics. And if you talk to me, I'll just give you the translations on the down low. Like, if you really need to know what these songs are saying, there are people who would be more than happy to tell you. But, whoever you are, if you're looking for a really good musical to listen to, some really fun songs, if you want to learn a little history and shed a few tears, I really, really highly suggest that you listen to this musical and make it so popular that they have to bring it to America. <laughs> Please, please, I'm begging. They did it with Rebecca. They can do it again.